Hello everyone, I am Renowned Zero, and today we're going to be talking about Prime Video bribing Brazilians to watch the Lord of the Rings or Rings of Power with a food delivery service coupon. Apparently, it couldn't get enough people to watch Lord of the Rings or Rings of Power when literally anyone can watch the superior Peter Jackson films that are masterpieces, best trilogy ever made, and they stand the test of time even 20 years later. I don't understand why anyone would want to watch this Tr absolute garbage and it looks like the house house of the dragon on hbo had more viewers and was better made than lord of the rings rings of power according to ratings but before we get started into this be sure to hit that like button if you do like the video comment below what you think about all this subscribe for more content and let's jump into it from this article from bounding in the comics prime video bribes brazilians to watch the lord of the rings rings of power with food serv delivery service coupon by the way Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, that's a terrible name. Just want to say that. Prime Video bribes Brazilians to watch the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power with a coupon for a food delivery service called iFood. YouTuber George the Giant Slayer reports Amazon's having to bribe viewers in Brazil to watch this show. In the video, he shared a number of screenshots from Prime Video's Brazil's Instagram account offering a $30 real coupon to iFood, Brazil's largest food delivery service in exchange for watching the first episode of the Rings of Power. George the Giant Slayer, which is George Morillo for people who don't know, explains Prime's videos bribe. What if what if basically says what it basically says if you've never had a subscription to Amazon Prime, you go subscribe and I'm not telling you. I'm just saying what they're saying, and then you've never watched Rings of Power, and it's your very first watch. You're going to watch it, then they're going to give you a serial number, and that's going to give you a coupon for 30 reals, which is Brazilian pesos essentially, which you can exchange for food from one app. And there's the screenshot of the Brazilian Prime Video Instagram account. As you can see in the screenshot above, the bribe comes almost three weeks after Lord of the Rings Rings of Power aired its eighth and final episode of season one on October 14th, 2022. One has to wonder if this is part of the $1 billion budget Amazon reportedly had for the show. Nevertheless, Prime Video's bribing Brazilians comes as the Nielsen ratings in the United States were released for the eighth and final episode of the season. The show still failed to be the most watched show in weeks of, t in the, of the week in terms of total minutes watched viewed it came in second with a total of 1.1 billion minutes watched behind netflix's the watcher which racked up 2.3 billion minutes watched and you can see the chart here that shows the witcher i mean the watcher sorry lord of the rings rings of power Dahmer, which everyone's watched this so of course it's lower house of the dragon the blacklist which is a fantastic show by the way the midnight club coco melon halloween ends luckiest girl live at nci ncis is another great show well, it looks like actually House of the Dragon is below the Rings of Power here on this Nielsen chart. Despite the showing still failing to top the charts, it was the third highest week behind the premiere week and the second week. The premiere scored 1.253 billion minutes viewed. Week 2 came in at 1.203 billion. The show fell to 988 million minutes viewed in its third week, it continued to decline in its fourth week to 977 million minutes viewed. It reached its lowest in the fifth week at 966 million. It then rebounded slightly for the release of the penultimate episode with 988 million views, uh, minutes viewed. And here's the chart of viewership for each episode. So you can see first episode, second episode were kind of high, then it completely dipped off. It is the millions, not billions, by the way. And it dipped off and stayed kind of low and then started to rise up towards, of course, the end of season one. With the show not even managing to ever claim the top spot on Nielsen streaming numbers, rumors have emerged that Prime Video will sideline showrunners J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay, who repeatedly lied to potential viewers claiming the show is always going back to the book. A rumor from YouTuber Gary Beekler of Nerdata claims the series will be rebooted. In a recent video, he noted, we've heard we have heard the rumors from my man Chris Gore at the show, that the showrunners might end up being Fall Guys, and we might have to wait till after award season to see if that actually happens. He then adds, quote, I also heard that they're going to go for a full-on reboot with this series and try to pretend that the last two months didn't happen. Roll out the publicity, maybe roll out some more influencers, and try to get people to binge the Rings of Power. Good luck. Because apparently they had Tolkien fans of, or... Tolkien super fans and apparently none of them actually knew anything about Lord of the Rings like are you serious? <laughs> Beekler went on to state quote and to add to that what if I told you that the Rings of Power did not start this way it was never meant to be a woke intersectional disaster it didn't have it didn't have not Gandalf it didn't have repurposed hobbits it didn't have Halbrand as Sauron and it didn't have warrior Galadriel 
What if I told you the show was usurped by people like Lindsay Weber and Jennifer Saki? And what if I told you that the fan attacks came from the top? More on that in my Lord Next to the Rings of Power video. He teased. Yeah, because the first thing they did was put out a bunch of articles calling everybody ist and foes if you didn't like this garbage show and didn't like the race swaps and all this other nonsense. You had a bunch of people on Twitter talking a bunch of shit if you didn't like the race swaps of the Hobbits and all that stuff. As for the rumor Beekler mentions regarding Chris Gore, he told Midnight's Edge in the morning, I heard quote, I heard that from someone who has a connect to Amazon that if you want to know that effectively they're going to be retooling and that J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay are more than likely they're not going to be publicly fired, but their role will be re uh, reduced. Potentially just remaining in the writer's room, he added, but my understanding is they're looking for more experienced showrunners, which they should have kept Tom Shippey, they should have had... You know, people who actually know the lore of Lord of the Rings when they're doing a Lord of the Rings show. Or, matter of fact, not do the show at all. Just have the Lord of the Rings movies. You guys, in the public eye, you've, they've essentially made the Hobbit movies what the prequels of Star Wars are to the sequel trilogy. They made the Hobbit movies look better because Lord of the Rings of Power is, seems to be hot dog shit. He then claimed they were well aware of the problems. They're sort of like publicity... They're sort of like publicly what they say and they're actually doing behind the scenes. And what they're actually doing behind the scenes. Excuse me. And what they're doing behind the scenes is they're freaking out that this was more of a failure than they could have anticipated. I think one, the quality of the show, that is the number one thing he opened. The fact that it's like, why am I still watching this? This is sleep inducing. The second thing is the total rejection from fans. I can't believe that there, there has been to be very few people that remain that still like it. And thirdly, the direct competition from House of the Dragon, he concluded. The strategically, the, the strategically them, they strategically them announcing, I don't know, and that they would have it come out at the same time and even like pre-seed and post-seed, so to speak. So House of the Dragon started earlier and the House of the Dragon is ending later. What do you make of Prime Video attempting to bribe Brazilian viewers to sign up for Prime Video and requiring them to watch Rings of Power in order to get a coupon for a food delivery? So they're basically trying to run up the minutes. That's what it seems like they're doing. They want to run up the minutes because it wasn't their top show. It wasn't the top show on the Nielsen ratings, and they're jealous of the House of the Dragon that, for the most part, beat out Rings of Power in viewers and minutes watched. So they're trying to basically salvage what they can by bribing people, essentially, or saying oh here here's some food for you if you watch this show you know giving out essentially free money to try to boost their numbers but clearly it didn't work clearly it's not going to work and if they do essentially reboot this that would probably help their show make it more akin to the lore akin to what it actual lord of the rings actually is about and so on and so on but that's those are my thoughts on this topic thank you all for checking out this video if you do like the video, like the, like the video, comment below what you think about this, subscribe for more content, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.